Hey everyone, it's Andrew again, and today we're looking at the Boba Fett Lego helmet. I think you're really gonna like it. Let's take a look. All right, here is our box for set number 75277, the Boba Fett helmet. It retails for 60 US dollars, and it does have an age rating of 18 plus, but as with the other helmets and with the Viper Probe Droid and R2-D2 this year, that's more showing that they're targeting adult fans and that these sets are meant to be display sets as opposed to play sets. This helmet has 625 pieces and if we look at a 10 cents per piece kind of threshold, this helmet is a great deal. Let's look at the back of the box. We can see already that the rangefinder does come down and we're going to take a look at that on the actual set. Down here we can see the dimensions and then we can see, see two pictures of Boba Fett in the movies. Um, one thing that we'll dive a little bit deeper in too is that the colors are much more vibrant on this set than they are on Boba Fett in the movies. I'm sure that if he had his helmet cleaned or it was brand new then it would look more like this set looks like. But let's look at the helmet now. All right, diving into the set itself. I think that this set looks incredible. Out of the helmets, out of the five helmets from this last year, I think that this one and the Scout Trooper were my favorite to build, and I think they also look the best on display. The colors on this are just incredible, and the little details are great. Lego really nailed these curves here, the different um, the curves on the side of his face and the colors. It just looks really good, really sleek. One little complaint, and it may be my only complaint on the whole set, is just the angles on this visor here. As you can see, it doesn't line up perfectly. The black don't. You can see a pointed angle here, and I definitely understand why it's like that. It, it's, uh, it's pretty difficult to get these angles right, but that would be my one complaint. Moving on to the side of the helmet, or around, you can see up here we do have the dent in his helmet, and they, they made it look really good with these gray pieces. On the side, this was really fun to build. Inside here, there is a rod that goes across, and then these green and yellow bricks attach together and then clip onto that rod. It's a pretty, pretty smart way that LEGO came up with to do this. I think that the shape of the helmet is really good. It looks looks pretty accurate and this side part was also very fun to build. Around on the back you can see there is there are a lot more tile pieces here and there's this vent section. I think it looks really good. On the side there is this tan section and another fun part to build but I do love the rangefinder. It comes down like this and other people have mentioned that it uh, kind of falls over and it does a little bit on mine, but it's a little more grippy than other people's. Anyway, the rangefinder comes down and that gives it a whole new look. I think it looks really cool down and up, but it, it, it does have that one movable part on this set. As mentioned before, these helmets really aren't meant to be played with, but this does have this part that comes up and down, kind of a cool uh, a cool little feature, but uh, yeah, most of the sets don't have too much movability. As with the other helmet sets, there is a center portion that you build and then the sides, front and top all stick on. Check out my speed build if you want to get a better idea of how that works. And then looking down at the base section. It looks really good. It's like the other helmets. Again, I wish they would put tiles on these studs, but not a big deal. And then we do have this display plaque that can move up and down, and it is printed. I love that these are printed. All in all, it was a really fun build. It didn't take too long, and uh, it just looks great. I love the colors. I love that this set, you know, you don't see the inside parts. You can maybe just see a tiny bit of the colors inside on certain sections, but on a few of the other helmets, it's much more pronounced. This one, you really can't notice it. All right, that's it for our Boba Fett helmet. Definitely let me know what you think in the comments. I would love to hear from you. 
But I think LEGO really nailed this one on the head. I love the attention to detail and it is an awesome display set. Check out my other videos, including the one that compares all five of the helmets if you want to get a better idea of which one to choose. And don't forget to like and subscribe if you want to see more videos and we will see you next time. Thanks. Mm -hmm.